Well, good day and welcome back. Uh, anyone who does this hobby, in my opinion, is up for the challenge of storage of their end mills and all that sort of crap. I've got a drawer here that I've had all my cutters in since I got this cupboard. They've all just been laid out in the drawer. Now, I haven't got a photo to, to show you. Um, it's, and they're a pain in the ass. You don't know what sizes of what and how many of what you got because they're all just laid out and I don't write down in every cutter I buy or whatever. Just buy it, chuck it in the drawer. Well, I was approached by a company by the name of Pergy and they asked me if I was interested in having a look at their Creality 3D printer. And I went, bloody oath, because storage solutions are in here. That was what my theory was. So I took them up on their offer. Um, I've got the 3D printer. It's set up inside. I've had it for about a week and a half, nearly two weeks, I suppose. And it hasn't stopped. It's <laughs> from the Toby and I set it up. And from the moment we turned it on, it hasn't. Well, I turned it off at about half past five this morning and it's about the longest it's been shut down. So I'll show you what I've done in my drawers. I've had nothing ever to do with 3D printers. I've only fiddled around with Fusion 360. Um, I've been teaching myself a lot to do with that for the last week and a bit. Um, never, didn't even know what a slicer was before I started this a little adventure with a 3D printer. So I've been using that Cura. Simple, easy to use. I did download the Creality slicer, but I found that a bit hard to navigate. As, par, as, as far as a 3D printer goes, I, Toby and I couldn't believe it. We got down the box, we put four, four screws in it, bolted the tower onto it, and then we plugged in, I think it was five wires, leveled the bed, Within a half an hour, we're doing a print from getting it out of the box. It was that easy. And that's because I was a bit yeah, doubtful how easy I was going to get this thing to work. But honestly, half an hour it was going. So I'll bring you over and I'll show you in the drawer of what I've done. Um, super simple storage solution. And I'll show you a few other bits and pieces that I've made in here. Then I'll take it inside and we'll have a look at the printer. So this is the dirty drawer that all my end mills have always lived in. So what I've done, I've built, there's 14 trays in here. They're just a simple tray. Just use the label maker. Jammed what size they are on and I've sorted them all out. There's long ones for the bigger cutters. But now I know where they are. When I shut the drawer, they're not sliding. They're not banging up against each other. They're just, they're packed away nicely. That's a bonus. And I know what I've got. These two trays here are all cutters of odd sizes, like 732s, as just odd sized critters. So, you know, one offs. I'm not, it's not worth devoting one a tray to to a, you know, to a, a single cutter. This has made, just something simple as this has made a big difference. Also, me big cutters. You know, simple. They're all standing up, they're not banging up against each other. I reckon that's a great, that's a great idea. So I'll open this door up and we'll have a look in here what I've done in here. Fly cutters. If you remember, I don't know whether you've ever seen in the cupboard, but they're all just laying down like that. And they're a pain in the ass. But I built a simple, simple drawer up in Fusion. And they are. They're all packed away. Nice and neat. Same thing with all the slit and saws. These are all just in them Ziploc bags each individually. Um, 
I just printed out a simple yeah, simple holder. This is a stem. Then we've got fancy and printed slit and saws on the top, around a bit of blue text driver. And just printed out a simple, real simple washer that goes in between them just to stop them from touching each other. So now I know where they all are. Same thing with these modular 2.5 that I used for the winch. Just a simple stand. You know, I know where they all are now. They're not laying around all over the joint. These are the ones I use for the um, web strange and belt 32 DP. And this is going to sound pretty trivial, but all these little bits and pieces were laying around everywhere. Just simple try. I know where they all are. It's all organised. It's just I know it's pretty trivial, but I know where they are. <laughs> so that's been a great. Yeah, it's been a great thing to be honest. Here's the second drawer. Uh, you can see it there next to the end mill cutters. Um, center drills. Simple tray. All my um, thread gauges, radius gauges. Simple tray. Odds and ends. Countersinking bits. Counter bores, burrs, screws for inserts, tooling, button oils, just just storage. Like they used to be laying around here everywhere. When you wanted something, it was a mission to find it. I've got to make some big trays now to hold all me me reamers. Yeah. That's next on the list to do. Just neaten everything up, make it user friendly because honestly it was a it was a real pain. I had um like these containers cut off, I had about half a dozen or more of these in here. And like center drills used to just stand up in them. All the little ones that end up crossways down the bottom, so you had to pull it all apart to get a little one out. Just a pain. This here I know where everything is. Little ones up front, big ones laying long ways. They're there. I know where they are. Okay, with the lathe, every time I wanted to drill a bit, I had to walk over to where my trolley is. And, um, because I've only got the big round, like, drill bit holders, drill bit stands. So I printed out a simple one of these. Half mill increments. This design here is off Thingiverse. Just download the file. Chuck it on the card, chuck it in the printer, press print. <laughs> pretty much how it goes and honestly they're a good fit and there they're always living on the lathe taking up less room than one of the big round ones so easy problem solved up on the wall here I've got four of these Warren and Brown torque wrenches basically the full set um, the big one up the top it was it's miles too heavy for a 3d print and so is the next one which i've got to make a couple of more steel mounts but for the bottom two i just 3d printed just simply drill them up in fusion a quick um yeah just sort of 10 minute job of drawing it up i used about a 20 percent infill and print them out screwed them up they're solid they're out of the way now. Another good solution. Okay, so here's the printer. Takes up bugger all room. Uh, it's simple to use. The interface is extremely easy to use. Um, you, while you're doing a print, you got full con you got control over your bed temperature, your offset, your, offset, um, your nozzle temperature. Um, what you can hear there is just the fan and that's all you hear the whole time it's printing it's not a noisy printer um, something we were buggerising around with last night just a simple 
come off the verse. That's gone now. Um, calibration cube. Now I printed this out just for shits and giggles really. 19.97 19.96 20mm So that's meant to measure 20mm square For what I'm doing This is plenty good enough Now Toby and I set this up Like I set out the shed It took us 20 minutes probably Because all I had to do is it come assembled all we had to do is put the four bolts in from underneath that hold the tower on or the gantry if you want to call it a gantry we had to plug the cables in for the couple of axes there only was five wires to plug in this one comes with the um, CR touch which is an auto bed leveling now I did make a bit of a boo-boo when I first set it up with this bed um, I obviously done something wrong and the, and the filament stuck fairly hard now I did realize and I learned afterwards you just put a, get a lighter and hold upside down the plate upside down because it's a magnetic plate hold the plate upside down put a bit of heat on it and it just flicks straight off um, it's yeah it's simple and I have been using a bit of glue stick um, I heard that was pretty good. That's what you see on the bill plate. Simple and as easy as anything to make, or to, to make anything on. It is really, really cool. I can't, I've got nothing else to say about it. It just, we plugged, we put it together, we plugged it in, and it worked. It's pretty simple. Okay, my verdict on this. From someone who doesn't like using computers to someone who's not really into technology like this um, who hasn't sort of got his head around the technology side of stuff I found this super easy to get to get going and to use um, I use the Cura slicer I did download the Creality slicer but I found it a bit hard to navigate personally so I've just stuck with Cura. Would I recommend one for a workshop with a hobby like I do? Yes, definitely. I can see this coming in super handy for prototyping, where if I've got an idea, I can scale it up, scale it, whatever, and I can print it out, see if, if it's right before I go and waste material. Storage solutions, you've already seen the storage solutions I've come up with so far, and I think that's fantastic it just makes so much more sense so would I recommend it yes I would definitely um, I don't know anything about any other brands of 3d printer all I know is this one I'll be honest this first time I've ever played with one did I find it easy I found it super easy Toby even comes along Toby can he'll come along and drive it no dramas he just he picked it up quicker than I did that's my verdict on this. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm thoroughly enjoying using this printer, I know that, and it's I can see myself doing a lot more with it. Anyway, appreciate you watching and see you later.